Are you looking for a way to wear your makeup for St. Patrick's Day that looks natural, that's great for people, you know, maybe over 30? And I'm your girl. Today I'm going to show you how I did this very beautiful, goldy, natural makeup look that's perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So if this is something you're interested in learning how to do, just keep watching. Before we get started with the video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, helps me out, helps people find me in the algorithm so that way I can give you more content. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so in this video, I'll show you how to do this gold, easy makeup look. Something I love to do on a day I just wanna be a gold goddess. So let's do it. I'm gonna pull my hair up just out the way. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my brows. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this Palidio Brown Eyeshadow. It's in the color Soft Brown. And I'm going to use the Mad Love Stencil just to fill in my brows. And this is the number three stencil. And definitely just start at the ends of your brow and just kind of press that in using a makeup sponge. This is like a makeup sponge on a stick. So I like to use this. As you can see, it gives a nicely arched brow. Then I'm gonna take a eyeshadow brush and I'm just brushing my brows up. What this does is just kind of helps smooth out that line so it looks a little more natural and it doesn't look like you just stenciled them on. And then what I'll do is I'll just clean them up a little bit with a concealer. So I have the NARS Medium Praline Concealer, and I'll just apply that underneath my eyes. Then I'll take a flat concealer brush, looks like this, and I will just try to blend that out. do is I'll add some e.l.f. concealer to my entire eyelid. That'll just help brighten up the shadow. Alright, so I just blended that into my eyelid. Then I'll take a little bit of Laura Mercier powder and translucent powder and I will just apply that to my lid. I'm just going to take a flat brush and I will apply that to my lid. This will just help, hopefully help prevent a little bit of creasing on the eyeshadow. Now that that's done, I will apply some brow gel. So I'm taking the e.l.f. brow lifts and using my e.l.f. brow lift applicator. I'm using the flat side. I'm just going to apply this to my eyebrows. What this does is it just helps the brows stay in place exactly the way that you want them. Okay, perfect. So those are on. What I'll do now is I'll add my foundation. Today I'll use the Fenty Ease Drop in the number 13. Then I'll use my Beauty Blender and I will blend that in. Then what I'll do is add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the color in the color sand, the number 20. Okay. Then I'll take my same beauty blender and remember these should always be like a little bit of wet. A little bit wet. Let's see.
So now that that's on, what I'll do is I'll add some more powder. This time underneath my eyes and on anywhere I put the concealer. So I will take a fresh makeup puff. You can also get these off of Amazon. Then I will dab off any extra. I'll apply that to the areas I put the concealer. Okay, once that's on, I will apply some bronzer. And I'll take this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And this is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the color medium. Underneath my chin. What the bronzer is supposed to do is just kind of help chisel out any areas that you want a little more sharp. Then what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more powder underneath the bronzer I just put. Perfect. Now I'll add the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'll take this avocado green a female palette i got this off amazon and i'm taking this cream color right here i'm just gonna apply that to my entire lid then what i'll do is i'll take this nyx foil play cream pigment it looks like this it's a bright bright gold and i'll apply a good bit to the lid that's what it looks like super bright i'll take a flat brush and i'll spray it with a face primer or setting spray. That way the brush is wet. I'm gonna lightly dab this on my lid. Okay, so I'll do the same thing on this side, then I'll come back when I'm done. So the lids are done. One thing I learned really quickly about this product, this NYX Foil Play, is that the more setting spray you put on your brush and you dip in there the more the product will actually look like foil versus like glitter because by default it's super it can get super messy it's very glittery but the more product you put on the more it turns out to be the texture of foil which is actually very fun then what i'll do is i would just take a little fluffy brush and add a little bit of brown no should i add brown add a little bit of tan to my crease now what i'll do is i'll add this mac eyeliner it's in a color power line it's like a gold and i'll add that to the bottom lid so then what i'll do is i'll add some mascara to my lashes and I just let that sit for a minute then I'll add or then I'll brush off my old powder so and I'll take my Juvia's Place blush which I'll mix the orange and the brown now what I'll do is I'll add some lashes I'm using the Ardell accent lashes in the color 318 they look like this it's like a third of a lash and I'm using kiss individual lash glue Looks like this, the strip lash glue.
Then what I'll do is I'll just apply a simple lip. I'm just going to use the MAC Downtown Beauty Color. Then I'll apply the NYX Butter Gloss, let's see, in the color Creme Brulee. It looks like this. Now that the lashes are on, I will just quickly put some mascara on them. Then this is an unnecessary step, but I like to add some Fenty Gloss on top. Fenty Glow Heat, it looks like number three. Okay, lastly, what I'll do is I will add some setting spray. I only have a little. And that's it, that's the look. Now I'll come back with all my accessories on for St. Patrick's Day. All right, so this is the final look. I just threw on some cute little St. Patrick's Day earrings, little headband, lashes, and yeah, that's it. Super easy to do, super quick, fun, looks natural. So this is a great St. Patrick's Day makeup look that you just want to have like a little bit of something with the gold, but you don't want to go overboard with the greens and things like that. I think this is a great way to do it. This is a great over 30 St. Patrick's Day look. So if this is a look that you enjoy, that you're going to try it for yourself, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you like and what videos you want to see more of. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.